Hello guys, good day. This is Anne of Reinforce Me Club, your fellow positive reinforcer. Today we are going to talk about the A, B, C, D, E method to boost your productivity. Now this method was developed by Brian Tracy to categorize tasks in five levels in the name of prioritization to help you organize tasks based on their importance and urgency. You can use this in your personal life as well as in the, in the workplace, wherever you are, even making decisions for yourself, which one comes first and, you know, which part or which, which task that, you know, you might want to consider not doing it at all. Now, speaking about the categories of this A, B, C, D, E method, A means the things that you must do. These are essential tasks that which have severe consequences if not completed. So they these are the tasks which are high priority and must be done promptly or urgently. Like for example, completing the final report for a, a significant client which is due tomorrow. And you know the consequence if you don't do this. Uh, another example is paying your rent or mortgage before the deadline. Another thing, um, picking up your prescription that you need for your health because you already have the symptoms. So you have to get that prescription drugs as soon as you can. Another thing, prepare an important presentation for your staff you know, who are under you, un under your leadership which is uh, due next week. You know, you could spare maybe a half an hour or one hour today to gather data so that you won't end up cramming, you know, doing everything all in one a day before the deadline. Otherwise, the report has to be completed before the due date. Otherwise, you're going to face the consequences, terrible consequences, to the point that you might going to lose your house if you don't pay your mortgage on time or you don't pay in, uh, your rent on time. Terrible consequences. Now, the second category is B, you know, A, B, A, B, C, D, E. So we are going to talk about the B category now. These are the tasks which you should, you should do. These are important but have less consequences compared to A task. This must be done, but not at the expense of A, you know, A functions, A level of category. Like for example, respond to non-urgent emails from colleagues. Or another thing, plan the weekend family trip. So it wouldn't be that uh, well, it would be a horrible trip if you don't plan it out. You might gonna end up not going to a trip at all when you don't make plans. Although there could be consequences which lies if you don't plan ahead. But yeah, there will there, there still be a consequence. But not as bad as in the A level of category wherein you could lose your job, you could lose your house. It's a uh, like a much intense kind of loss. And you could also, like, under B category, another task uh, under that is, uh, you know, another example, updating the department's performance metrics, like your KPI. So this has something to do with planning, planning ahead. But if you don't plan, when the time comes that you have to do that task, you might gonna do that task terribly, low quality, less focus. You know, the result might not going to be that satisfying as others' expectations. Although you expect a lot to get out from, get more out from the task, but you didn't plan ahead. So that's the consequence. It might not going to happen because you didn't plan ahead. It means that you take it for granted. So this task, your shoulds, you know, it's not going to be, the consequence might not be, that's terrible, but you're still gonna get some consequences. Now, under C category, these are the tasks which 
are considered as the nice thing to do. Nice to do. Tasks without significant consequences if not completed. These tasks are optional and can be done if time allows. Like, for example, organizing your desk and office space. Reading an interesting article related to your field. To, you know, to feed your brain, to update your brain from time to time. To, to get ahead even a little bit from time to time. Consistently getting ahead by updating your knowledge. Uh, another thing, uh, another optional thing to do. Trying a new recipe. Or you could be changing your exercise variation after two months or three months. It's still optional. You can always change it whenever you like. But, you know, you know, in terms of uh, changing your exercise var variation, there will come a time that you, you know, you, you just get bored about it and you will eventually change. But it's still optional. Watching a favorite TV show, optional. So you have a choice not to watch it. But you, can, you may watch it in your, in your vacant time. The internet is there to give you what you need, especially in terms of entertainment. Now, let's get to the D category. Under the D categories are the tasks which are meant to be delegated. You know, these are things to do which can be done by, by somebody else under you but, or by somebody else you have assigned it to do. Delegation. You know, you can, you can tell somebody else to do this task you know, to free up your time for more critical activities to do, you know, to get your focus to the A category task as well as to the B category task. So you might want to delegate those tasks which are um, not important. It could be urgent and you can just delegate it. And you focus on your A category task which are must be done. Lastly, the A category, elimination. So E means elimination. These are the tasks which are not meant to be done because it doesn't contribute to your goals. Eliminating this task helps you focus on more critical activities, crucial activities, like those activities under A and B categories. Or, you know, if you've, you're done with the A and B categories, you can do the C category, which are the nice thing to do, and still forget about the E task. E task, for example, unnecessary meetings that don't contribute to your goals. You know, meetings about it could be community meetings though, and then you're tired. You 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 are overwhelmed enough with your schedules for the entire week, and then there there you go a, a community meeting about cleanliness, which doesn't contribute to your much about your relationship, your goals. So you might just want to set it aside. Another thing is browsing social media during work hours while you are doing your A category task. So it turns out that you know you're you're browsing on your social media, and that actually uh, interrupts you while you're doing your A task. So as much as possible when you're doing your A task, you're doing your A task. Set boundaries. Social media will be tonight. Or social media at the end of the shift for 10 minutes, 5 minutes, just browsing anyway. Just to give yourself an excuse for a break. But not a break for the entire day that you, you, you it, 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 to the point that you're going to compromise your, your A and B category task. So for example, another example, unscribing from unnecessary email lists. Excessive time spent on video games. So these aren't really optional though. Although we need this. We need some time to, to give ourselves a, a break. But these aren't important at all. You can always make time for this. You know, unnecessary tasks, which is not important, not urgent. It's just a waste of time. Time waster task. Although we need this, like going to sauna, or get, giving yourself a massage, but you can do this, you know, when, when you are totally vacant on your schedule. 
you know, if, if this is important for you, you might want to give a schedule, a right time for this. So this, so that this task, unnecessary task, wouldn't ruin your, you know, critical task, the must do. So set boundaries. I know deep in my heart, those time racer tasks, we needed to give our, we need this task to give ourselves ourselves a, a, a break but not a break for the entire day a break for the entire week you know there's already another story so if this is important to you make time but this will be your last priority now in order to implement this a b c d method of prioritization to really you know increase your productivity throughout the day Number one that you can do is you can list all the tasks. Write down all the tasks that you might complete. You can start it out in the office or at home when you have a, a family. Then categorize the tasks. You know, assign each task to uh, each task under a letter A, B, C, D, S, task based on the imper importance and urgency. And then number three, prioritize task A, complete the, the most important, the urgent task that must be done. Otherwise, you're done. <laughs> you know, prioritize task A before moving to task B category and then un do those uh, tasks under C category. Number four, it's important to never forget the task under category D, which means delegation. Delegation helps you save time and money or even energy. Find someone who can handle those tasks under, under D category, you know, to handle this task for you. And number five, most importantly, eliminate those things to do under E category. Remove unnecessary, unnecessary should I, should, sorry, should I say, unnes unnecessary tasks for your, from your list to save your time. So, yeah, once again, browsing on social media, looking at your Instagram updates, your favorite authors. You can always make time for that. But never uh, never take away your, your eyes from the prize. You know, get your focus on the most important things to do for the day to keep you satisfied or fulfilled that you have finally done what you have to do uh, for, for your day. Now, by systematically categorizing tasks, the A, B, C, D, E method helps you ensure that you focus on the most critical activities, delegate where possible, and eliminate time-wasting activities, leading to a better time management and increase productivity. So, I hope this episode helps you a lot. If you ever love this content today, you can follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and even in Amazon Podcasts. This is Anne of Reinforce Big Love, by the way, your fellow positive reinforcer. I do appreciate your time and have a lovely day ahead. Thank you very much.